All right, guys, here's the deal. The United States sent a second man into space from July of 1961, a long time ago. Papa saw it on TV, that's how old I am. And it was called the Mercury 4, and it carried a man by the name of Gus Grissom. Okay. He went up. He went up an altitude of 102 miles. Anybody know what altitude means? How far up you're supposed to go. That's right. Altitude is how far up. He went 102 right. miles. Listen. Anyway, he went up 102 miles. You know how far that is? No. no. That's from here to Chattanooga. That's how high he went up in the sky. And then he went downrange about 250 miles. Anybody know what downrange means? No one knows how far down you go. No. How fast? How far down? It's how fast? How far away from where he blasted off. See, we oh. went, this one went about 150 feet away from where we launched it. Well, something like that. And then uh, Gus Grissom, he went 250 miles away from where he launched, where he came down in the ocean. And his capsule was called the Liberty 7. Liberty uh, because of the Liberty Bell. That's what it was named after. Wait, he got in the ocean? Like he, his rocket landed in the ocean? Yeah, yeah. He landed in the ocean, and most of the time they float. They'll float while he gets out and they get him off on helicopter. Well, this time, the capsule filled with water and it went to the bottom of the ocean. He got out though. He got out. And then in 1998, they recovered his spacecraft. And this patch that you're going to get today, is commemorating Gus Grissom. It's got his name on it and the Liberty Bell 7. Okay? It's almost like yeah, this. That's right. That was the first one. This is the second one. So here you go, guys. All right, back away, everybody. I'm counting up. No, we're doing 10, 9, 8, 10. Ready? Mm -hmm.